All right, guys, so I'm at my grandparents' house, and the solar panels have arrived. So, um, we're going to get them back home. We're probably, we should probably open them up before we take them home, because we're supposed to inspect them immediately, and if damaged, notify those guys. Or Amazon. But there's six boxes with two panels each. guys we're gonna be opening up all this stuff here for our solar system today I'm not gonna to waste any time on it and go ahead and open up the biggest box I know you all want to see what's inside it and that's why I'm opening it last because I know y'all watch the whole video if I do so I'll open this first it's got Per se, it's stuff in it. That's not mine. Fuses. Those are freaking huge. These are the connectors for the solar panel. Way bigger than I'd imagine. Oh, this is the fuse holder. And I suddenly don't feel like these are that big anymore. I gotta put one of those fuses in here. Oh, these are the, um, the solar panel mounts. No. All right, last thing is the box. Right. Yeah. This is the charge controller. temperature sensor for our batteries. An Ethernet to USB cable for getting uh, measurements on my computer. Big old thing. It's got a giant heat sink on the back. That's really nice. Made of metal, that's cool.
from put it on the wheel. Yeah, they did the same thing when it they had all consolidated the tracks on it to go. They had a mountain stuff in front of it. away from it. We'll put this through the back. You can do it either way. It depends on if you're using the wrenches or the impact wrench. Um, if you're using the impact wrench, you should go in like this. If you're using uh, the hand wrenches, it should go in like this. So, you put it in, put this over it. through them real quick.
Alright guys, thank you so much for watching me get my solar panel set up. I'm sorry I didn't have more footage of this guy uh, getting put in the solar controller. Um, there's really not that much to it. Uh, this particular one, you unscrew some screws at the bottom and then there are um, about six ports. Two for Ethernet. I guess there's some stuff for your generator too. And then there's the DC in for the solar panels and the DC out for the batteries and that's really it it's really not complicated um anyway if you guys come watch the next video you'll get to see how i set up this this is uh 48 volts we stepped up the whole system from 12 volts to 48 volts and it is quite a process so maybe you'll get to see some of that in the next video make sure y'all subscribe thank you so much for watching to the end and i'll see y'all then